Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. <coughs> uh, today I want to make like an interactic, interactive talk about the liturgy, about the liturgy. Many people, especially our kids, and some of the uh, servants, we feel disconnected. We feel we're, we, we're not following what's going on. So we get disconnected from the liturgy. So maybe we need to be a little bit more educated in this regard. But today, I'm going to uh, have this interactive talk posing some questions and get some feedback from you try to cover the liturgy in this 45 minutes that we at least we know what's going on and what's going on First question I want to pose, and let's uh, take part in an When does the uh, preparation for the liturgy start? Hmm? That's right. This is the right answer. It starts from Asiya the day before. It starts with Vesper. Okay. Next question. What's the importance of Vespers in regard to the liturgy? What's the importance of Vespers in regard to the liturgy? What's the Okay. Keep going. استعداد ازاي يعني؟ اه ازاي استعداد للقداس؟ حنة <تصفيق> بداية الاحتفال يعني اه اه حلو حلو التشبيه دوت الحنة كل ما نيجي نحط عشية نقول النهارده الحنة <تصفيق> Uh, what else? كله كلام صح كله كلام صح All what you're saying is right It is preparation in the sense of uh, 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 A smaller uh, celebration uh, in, in preparation for the bigger one Okay, what else? تجيز المسبح هنيجي للنقطة دي برد هو تجيز المسبح بيبقى الصبح بصوا المزمور بيقول ايه يعني it's preparation for taking communion بصوا المزمور دوت we pray this in the, in the third hour يقول لك في العشاء يحل البكاء وفي الصباح الايه سرور weeping shall be for the evening but joy shall be in the morning فهو يعني simply it is the preparation by repentance preparation by repentance so العشية دي وقت الرفع بخور منقدم التوبة بتاعتنا وبرضو الوقت اللي منقدم فيه الاعترافات وكده هوت this is our preparation by repentance صح؟ طيب <coughs> what are the highlights of Vesper؟ ايه اهم حاجات كده في الفيسبر؟ طبعا احنا مش هنقول what's going on in detail but what are the highlights of Vesper؟ ايه الحاجات الاساسية اللي في العشية نقول العشية اساسا عشان كده it's mainly for that hmm? my repentance ده ال ده الايديا in 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 practice but in practice what what are three thi- three main things in in vesper which we can say well this is the most important things about vesper gospel we have a we have a message in the gospel okay sama aw shayt al raqidin mish faham di eh alaqatha bil qaddas yani ka istaadad ahna bnetkallam dawati ahna shooting for the qaddas لا مش أو شيء الرقدين هي المسج بتاعة ال بتاعة الجاسبل صح وإيه تاني 
ايه؟ ما احنا بنقول بنقول توبه يبقى محتاجين مع التوبه ايه؟ تحليل ها؟ yeah. we get we get the absolution ها؟ yeah. so we get the message from the gospel we get the absolution and the first one بقى raising incense raising incense ايه raising incense يعني ايه؟ what does raising incense mean؟ ها؟ yeah. prayer اه uh, prayer with the saints prayer with the saints okay we pray with the saints giving our repentance and in, in uh, during the incense taking on the altar we get a message from the gospel and we get the absolution that in short يعني in short the three things is uh, <coughs> uh, incense which means repentance and prayer the gospel and the absolution let me uh, but these are the three things raising the incense message of the gospel and the absolution why we raise incense in the church why we raise incense in the church why we raise incense in the church Yeah, it is raising our prayers, raising our prayers. Uh, give me more. And I can't see a soap. We talked a little bit uh, about it in the morning. Yeah, it is the 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 incense is the prayers of the saints, and our prayers added to it. Let me share this uh, three verses with you. Look at this three verses. This is in Book of Revelation. John in uh, Beloved in book of Revelation is saying now when he had taken the scroll the four living creatures this is a, a picture of the four living creatures uh, illustration yeah and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb each having a harp and a golden bowl and golden bowls full of incense which are the prayers of the saints so in more than place, in one, in more than one place, it's it mentions it's mentioned that the incense resembles prayers, and I, I'm going to show you right now something showing the importance of the prayers on the incense. Right, right, right. Uh, in a moment, okay. So whenever there are incense, you need to re- remember it's time to pray for my prayers to go along with the, all my brothers and sisters and all the saints. To go up to God. Bardo di fe sifra roya bardo in the book of Revelation. Then another angel, uh, uh, angel having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne, and the smoke of the incense was in his hand. So incense, it takes a servant raising it. So it takes, it collects all the incense, all the prayers, and goes up in heaven. <coughs> and see this, we pray in the 12th hour in the Agbeya. <coughs> uh, in Psalm 141, it says, Let my prayer be set before you as incense. So my prayer, even my, my personal prayer, uh, in the eyes of God, it's like a sacrifice of incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. As the evening sacrifice. فإحنا we praise incense as a sacrifice. Look at this, what Abuna is praying silently during Ashaya while doing the incense. It tells you uh, more about it. See Abuna, this you don't, you don't hear. But you can find in Taban in the Khulagi and a Coptic reader Ukeda. This what Abuna prays silently. O Christ our God, the great awesome, great, awesome and true, the only begotten Son and Logos of God the Father. Ointment poured forth is your holy name. Tib Maskub wa Ismak al Ismak al Kudus. And in every place in your sacrifice. So Raising incense is giving glory to his holy name. Binidilu karama, binidi karama al-ism Allah. By Rafa al-Bukhur. 
We ask you, our Master, receive our prayers, be set forth before you as incense. And only our Rabb, Iqbal Salatna ka'annaha b'khur. The lifting up of our hands, the evening sacrifice. Look at this, ba. For you are the true evening sacrifice who was offered yourself upon the honored cross for our sins to the will of your good father. Fahmin? The origin of the incense came from where it's coming from. Where it's coming from? Yeah, from the cross. Maybe I didn't write this down, but uh, when you see Abuna going around with the incense, he goes around like uh, c- counterclockwise. Goes around like this. When he comes in the very back here, Abuna gives, and he's, I'm coming from this side. I'm coming here. And then I raise incense to the cross. Jesus Christ is yesterday, today, and forever the one who offered himself a sacrifice on the cross. And then I go like this. And then I go this direction. And his father smelled his sacrifice and accepted it. And he opened the door of paradise for mankind by the blessing of his cross and resurrection. I mean, you get the idea? I'm trying to tell you the origin of this good smelling aroma. It comes from the cross. So when I'm adding, when I'm using the surya, I'm praying on account of the cross. Keep this in mind because we're going to come back to this. يعني أنا برفع صلواتي وبتتقبل على أساس إيه قبول زبيحة الصليب. عشان كده صلاتي أنا كأنها برضو إيه زبيحة مقبولة زي ما المسيح قدم نفسه زبيحة صلواتي برضو بتتقبل على حساب الدم دوت. Why is it called a sacrifice? Because when you pray, you deny yourself. Huh? When you pray, you deny yourself. Whenever, whenever even we say our Father, what we say? Your will be done. Right? You deny yourself. Your will be done. Okay? I cannot يعني, uh, extend more because we have a lot to cover today, but I'm giving you little of everything. I'm trying to give you little of everything. What comes after Asiya? What comes after Vesper? Hmm? Midnight praises. Okay, what's the importance of midnight praises? What's the idea of midnight praises? Especially back in Kiyahk, we have back longer ones. Yani, Vesper, we raise the incense as a sign of repentance and we get the absolute and a message. Okay, and then, the especially Sundays, or Saturday evening, yani, we're preparing for Sunday, we have midnight praises. Why? Why we have midnight praises? What's the idea? Hmm? Keep in mind the Udas. We're preparing for the liturgy. Yeah? Praising. Yeah? Look at this. Look at this. We remember the, the five wise uh, virgins yeah? who were vigilant having their, uh, their uh, oil ready, being prayful and wait for the bridegroom to come. This is how we are waiting for him. And number two, we are, it's mainly biblical praises, the tasbiha, it's biblical praises من الإنجيل يعني to the Lord for His glorious incarnation and redemption. لا حتى الكلام التسبيح كله وبالذات في كيه كله about incarnation. You know what's incarnation? يعني incarnation. تجسد. ها كله على إيه بنسبح الله المتجسد وبنسبح الله اللي إيه اللي فدانا المخلص. We praise the incarnated God. And we praise the uh, redemption on the cross in preparation for the liturgy. Okay? And we stay up late like the 
virgins who were waiting for the bridegroom. Okay, what comes next? Morning incense. Okay, what what about morning incense? It's being identical to vesper. يعني اللي يحضر vesper ويحضر morning incense you find them identical. Little difference. But, th- but they are different in their meaning. We said vesper, we're preparing by repentance. What is the morning incense? Preparing what? We prepared our hearts and now we're preparing something else. The altar. Preparing the altar. So the morning incense is mainly about preparing the altar, preparing the holy bread, preparing the wine, getting ready for the liturgy. طبعا the spiritual aspect as I prepare the altar in the church I prepare my altar too right I'm coming early uh, I'm, I'm preparing myself for the liturgy بس بحضر برضو مسبحي الداخلي من أجل القداس but this is one thing ف- number one preparing the altar number two preparing our own altar during again during raising the incense Whenever there is raising incense, it's time بقى for prayers and preparations and all this. Christ? طبعا we got a message, we get a message in the, in the gospel. Uh, Bardo preparing for the liturgy. Except for, يعني throughout the year, from Easter, all the way till we start Kyak, the morning incense gospel is always about resurrection. Prof, thank you. From Nativity Fast, uh, sorry, from Kyak on to the end of, of Lent, it's different. Okay? It's different. All the prayers in the morning incense are prayed outside the altar. We're not yet ready to get inside the altar. Only when we get dressed in, b- in white, we can enter the altar. Okay? Let's switch to something else. Where is the holy bread being baked? Bitchibis fin al urban? Hmm? Bit lahm? Eho bit lahmida. Jerusalem, يعني? Why is it why is it called Bethlehem? Okay. Okay. Why Bethlehem? يعني? Why Bethlehem? تما تقولها أوت الأربان وخلاص. The 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 holy bread room. إيه؟ أيوة. كملي طيب كملي. كملي. يا. معناها إيه؟ أيوة أيوة طيب كمل. بص بص why is it why is it called بيت لحم اهو it resembles baking the urban it resembles the conception pregnancy and the birth of Christ يعني احنا we start the liturgy uh, by Christ being born right prior to his birth this happens in بيت لحم so we consider baking the urban part of the prayers. Sankeda for, for those of you who do urban, we always advise them don't stop praying during do, during doing baking urban. We're supposed to be praying all the psalms during baking the urban. It is part of the liturgy. It is the part where we celebrate conception, pregnancy, and the birth of Christ. And then we get the the lamb, which the urban ba'a, uh, to, the, to the liturgy, to start by his birth from there. Right? For Bethlehem, it's called this way because it is the place where he was born, and this is the uh, process of baking urban. Father. Go ahead. Can you give her the, the microphone? Can you 
you tell me why in the Coptic Church it is made only by in the Eastern Orthodox Church both the men and the women participate in uh, baking the bread can you tell me why in the Coptic Church the males only are yeah it's the simply bread? because as I told you it's part of of the part of the liturgy and the liturgy is mainly served by the deacons who are male uh, yani, uh, this, this, that's why that's why and we even uh, there is a condition for those who are baking urban to be deacons yani, people who are not deacons are not allowed to, uh, to, to bake urban it's part of, of the service it's part of the service okay uh, and now we're done with uh, uh, with the morning entrance now the the urban is being offered or the lamb is being offered ta'dim al-hamal so the next question what's the main personal prayer we ought to raise during the offering of the lamb how we offer the lamb binul ay sa'at ma binaddam al-hamal creation so what are, what is our prayer during offering the lamb we're supposed to be praying personally but personally Huh? I'm, I'm talking now a person attending liturgy there is a personal prayer you need to be praying during offering the lamb it's supplications while calling on God's mercy من قدم تلباتنا يعني فيك واحد يقول أبونا أشكرني وانت بتقدم الحمل remember me while you're offering the lamb فإحنا كلنا بنصلي من أجل حاجات معينة you are coming today say well Today I'm fighting uh, thoughts of doubt. This is the time you, you really talk about this to God or you're coming today for this sick person and you are uh, uh, putting yourself in front of God for, for this person. This is the time you put your supplications and <coughs> this is the time Abuna is supposed to be praying for uh, the ones he, he, he was asked to pray for. I'm jumping, I'm not going details in details, but after we, we offer the lamb and we pray the thanksgiving, Abuna covers the altar. Why does Abuna cover the altar after thanksgiving prayer? No? Yeah, it is uh, uh, exactly the burial of Christ. During Odess, we're living part of the life of Christ, maybe not in sequence as much, but يعني, there are simp- uh, certain glimpses كده شوية uh, مواقف كده بنلقطها when, when you see Abuna covering the altar remember Christ in the tomb Christ in the tomb uh, and here uh, another hint uh, this can be a prayer you pray while Christ in the tomb please Lord bury my sins and my weaknesses in your tomb ادفن معاك ضعفاتي وخطاياي مش عايز بقى افتكرها تاني especially if I'm already repented and confessed about it and then Abuna goes out and you see him standing here giving his back to the people and praying the absolution of the servant, uh, servants what's the meaning of the absolution of servants <coughs> why, why is Abuna praying this uh, absolution we had we had an absolution in the morning entrance for our sins. Can I do tahlil for akhir baker? Why why there is an absolution here and we call it the absolution of the servants? Any idea? Sama? No, but it's different wording. In nas mukhtalif. In nas mukhtalif. Oh, actually, this this uh, absolution. Are you a Mike? This is our absolution from the mouth of the early chur- from the whole church and the early fathers and the apostles, huh? from the Holy Trinity as well as the mouth of the apostles and all the early church fathers to be entitled. To teach and worship the right Orthodox way. 
ان ده سمح لينا ابونا كمان شويه هيوعش الخادم هيطلع يقرا من من البولس والكاثوليكون ذا سيرفنتس ار ار سيرفينج ذا ليتورجي وي ار اول سيرفينج ذا ليتورجي ايفن اول ذا هول كونجريجيشن ار كونسيدر سيرفينج بيكوز ذير از نو ليتورجي ويزاوت كونجريجيشن باي ديفينيشن ليتورجي مينز ذا اكت اوف ذا بيبول the act of the people liturgy means act of people without congregation you cannot have a liturgy just a priest and a deacon you cannot have a liturgy we should have congregation for the whole congregation being servants of the liturgy along with the priests and deacons are being absolved from the father from the mouth of the holy trinity and the apostles and the saints to complete the service okay What is the connection between the readings? We, we start the readings after that. Yeah? What is the connection <coughs> between the readings? We have a different difference between Sunday readings and day weekdays readings. You know what's the difference? What's the difference between Sunday readings and weekday readings? Yeah, weekdays revolves around the main event of the day mentioned in the synaxarium. Okay? الحدث بتاع اليوم اللي موجود في السنكسار. While Sunday Okay, revolves around around what? About the gospel of the, of the day. Huh? يعني today the gospel was Zachariah, Annunciation to Zachariah. You find all the readings, if you go deep in, into them, hinting to the good news coming to Zachariah, to the Messiah coming, to the beginning of the uh, book of Luke, to uh, temptations because he's been through a hardship not having kids and so on. But it all revolves around the gospel, while weekdays revolves around the saint of the day or the feast of the day. This for you when you are reading the or listening to the <coughs> to the readings to know uh, what is the uh, uh, structure okay why is the gospel of the liturgy taking a higher level of attention you know when you, we, we, before we start the gospel there are some preparations what are the preparations abuna prays a, a litany just for the gospel There is a prayer just for the gospel. And they find while the gospel is being read, everybody is standing. While the other readings, we can be sitting down. The candles are on. The other abuna or the uh, abuna supposedly giving incense to the gospel while being read. Why? Yeah, thank you. It represents Christ the teacher. It's not the deacon reading. It's not St. Paul talking it is Christ talking okay this is the importance of the gospel it is Christ talking that's why we are all standing and Abuna is giving the incense and we're all listening he's giving us his commandments he's giving us his commandments it is the Lord himself talking to us okay <coughs> what are the Uh, the three most repeated litanies throughout the liturgy and why there are three litanies ثلاثة واشي بيتصلوا كتير قوي في القداس يعني constantly repeated which are the three and why the church fathers assemblies exactly we pray for the uh, peace of the church we pray for the fathers meaning Uh, the Pope and the Bishop and the Bishops and so on the Bishop, our Bishop and so on and the Assemblies. Can you tell me why we repeat especially these three? Some people say well, it's, it's a lot of repetition but it has a, it has a meaning behind it. the peace of the church, the leaders of the church and the assemblies, simply 
we are praying that the church continue to exist and to bless our families. When we say assemblies, this is an assembly. We're praying for our gathering in the liturgy, in our meetings, uh, and also at homes. So we pray for the church, us, the leaders, that God will, will give them wisdom to lead the church and to bless our homes. This is the main thing we focus all the time, bless the church, bless the church, bless, give us peace in the church, give us wisdom to the leaders, and so on. Why we repeat the creed every liturgy? We suppose even to, to raise our hand, right, right hand, it's a <laughs> it is a creed. What is a creed? Huh? Yeah, it is a statement of faith. It is the statement of our Christian faith. The whole church is one and having one God, one faith and one baptism. So we all say it and we're supposed to say it together in one voice, declaring our uh, constitution. This is our, con this is our uh, statement of faith. What is the reconciliation prayer? Israt al sulh di abara an eh? Reconciling with him? Yeah. Like, like a cross. Huh? Like a cross. And this is the verse. Huh? Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself. He reconciled us to himself. And has given us the ministry of reconciliation that is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. So, we, we, we talk about how God came from heaven huh, to take us back to him. And at the end of, of reconciliation, what we do to one another? We greet one another. We greet one another, meaning... Since I am reconciled with God, this cannot happen by itself. It has to build a cross. So this is the vertical, and what's the horizontal? When we are all being reconciled to one another. What happens at this very moment in the liturgy, and the altar? Hmm? Yeah, it's uncovered. Meaning, resembling, resurrection. We celebrated his burial, and now... His resurrection. By his resurrection, we are reconciled. By his resurrection, we are reconciled with him and with one another. No one is allowed uh, to proceed having uh, holding grudges. Uh, remember this verse. This applies here. Well, if you bring your gift to the altar, remember that your brother has something against you. Leave your gift there before the altar and go your way first be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift main preparation main preparation for communion if you are asking how can I be ready for communion so we already answered this why uncovering the altar it is a sign of resurrection by which the redemption was revealed Right after, Abuna will say, The Lord be with you. Eh? Lift up your hearts. What is this part called? Anaphora. Yeah. Anaphora means, <coughs> actually, let me tell you some history here. Now we offer the, the lamb very early. In the early church, they used to offer the lamp at this point at this point this is the point of the beginning of the real liturgy all the past was preparation now from this point from the point of anaphora it, it used to be the offering of the lamp that's why if you uh, concentrate in the uh, response of the deacon uh, at the end of it say offer offer 
right? Offer, offer means get your offerings. <laughs> get your offerings. So at this time was a time they bring their offering, the bread is being brought in, and the bread is being chosen, the, the lamb is being chosen, and then they start raise up your hearts. <coughs> what is the anaphora? It means offering the oblations. It is the official liturgy of the believers. It is, if you follow the words, the story of salvation from the very beginning to second coming. And I'm talking about the part of lift up your hearts and the part of adios, 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 holy, holy, holy. It is the story, the whole story. The one who is in heaven, who is worshipped by the angels. Huh? The first part. The second part, this is the one whom who uh, felt for our case being cast out of the paradise of joy and he returned us by his incarnation and he went, he went on the, and baptized us with the power of the Holy Spirit <coughs> and he's giving, going down to Hades and he rose from the dead at the end of it we say according and he's coming back in his second coming and we conclude this part by saying according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. Right? This is <coughs> the part. And then we start the main part in the liturgy. What's, which part is considered the core of the liturgy? Yeah. Institution, narrative, which is the Ta'deez. Ta'deez. Institution, narrative, which is the last supper recalled. When we start uh, talking about the Last Supper and how he took bread in his hand and how he blessed the chalice. You maybe, maybe you notice that the priest put his hands on the censer right at this moment. Before he starts this institution narrative, he puts his hand on the cross as if he's washing his hands on the incense and then he takes from the incense put it on the bread put it on the wine three times can you imagine why 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 is this happening remember by incense we're coming back to incense <laughs> Communion with the saints. Okay. Uh, we're coming to the saints in a moment. But here it has to do with, uh, with the role of the priest. The role of the priest. Let me answer this. <coughs> the priest is only allowed to touch the mysteries on account of the Lord's incarnation and redemption. We said... The, the real evening incense was the cross. The sacrifice of the cross. So I can only approach the mysteries by this sacrifice. Not as a, as a human, doesn't matter how good or bad I am. I take from the cross the right to hold the mysteries. بأخذ من الصليب الحق إن أنا أمسك الإيه الأسرار. They say it in some in a, in a different form. They say it is the time when Abuna disappears and Christ takes his place. ده الوقت اللي اللي يختفي في الكهن وكأنه أخذ إيه إيدين المسيح. As if he's taking the hands nailed on the cross. From this point on, Abuna is not allowed to use the cross. Abuna puts the cross on the altar and he's not allowed to touch it because the higher is there. You understand? The high priest, the main high priest is there. He's not allowed to bless. It is the high priest now doing it. So Abuna is disappearing in Christ. Every, one of, every part of this needs a lecture, so <laughs> I'm just giving you glimpses. After uh, this part, 
everyone kneels down. What happened at this moment? The Holy Spirit comes on the mysteries and it turns them into <coughs> and this is the prayer Abuna prays silently when he's saying we ask uh, uh, while kneeling down we ask you Lord our God we are sinful and unworthy servants worship you by the pleasure of your goodness that your Holy Spirit may descend upon us and upon these gifts set forth, purify them, change them, manifest them as sanctification of your saints. I have ten minutes to go. Would you bear with me ten more minutes? Ten more minutes? I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm passing the, the, right, uh, the time. Real quick, why does the priest stop blessing with a cross? We already answered this. Christ is present on the altar. Is there a mention of departed in the Holy Liturgy? The mention of the departed? The Zikr al Multaqilin fil Uddash? Yeah? In the commemoration of the saints and departed. We remember the saints here not asking for their intercession we remember them as departed saintly departed in heaven we're praying for them remember O Lord Saint Mary remember O Lord uh, John the Baptist and also remember my father and my grandmother and so on right because they are part of the liturgy they pray for us we also pray for them what does the fracture uh, prayer at the end we have a fractured prayer Salat al-Isma what happens in this what, what we remember in this Salat al-Isma what is re uh, reminding us of Salat al-Isma babuna bi-asim al-hamal ma'anaha eh la mish al-asar rabbani naam salvation of everybody yeah. when did Christ got broken <laughs> now yeah Christ on the cross Christ on the cross see it resembles the passion of Christ on the cross you see Abuna dividing the body into 12 pieces which resembles the church which resembles the church and then Abuna Towards the end, after the fraction, he prays the absolution. This absolution is like God make us words to take communion. And then he, he takes the middle part and raises it up and say, the holy is for the holy. What does it mean? We're not holy, are we? But during fraction, we recall the redemption on the cross. During the absolution, we bow down repenting and we get the absolution then we are holy by repentance and the blood of the cross we are considered holy why does Abuna take from the blood and put on the body huh? you, if, you see Abuna holding the middle piece which is called the aspadikon the master part dip it in the blood and then he takes it and he smears the body with the blood why would he does this because it's one and the same person this body uh, this blood belongs to this body and this body belongs to this blood okay and also resembles that all the wounds of Christ were you know blood was coming out of them for our redemption what should I think of, of while entering to take communion unworthiness thankfulness reverence
and after communion I'm supposed to be praising and being quiet praising and being quiet why does the priest raise up the pattern after washing he washes the pattern and then he raises it up at the very end it resembles it reminds us of the ascension at the end Abuna sprinkles water why? it is blessing everyone with the water which attended the whole liturgy and then this how Abuna uh, dismissed the people the love of God the Father everything is about the Trinity love the Father, God the Father the grace of the only begotten Son our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ and the communion and gift of the Holy Spirit be with you all go in peace, the peace of the Lord be with you all I know we have a ton of questions we have a ton of questions I know but we will have uh, educational uh, liturgies for different groups we'll explain more about the educational liturgies but this is just some highlights for for some knowledge to add to yours and glory be to God forever and ever uh, regarding the retreat